Hey guys, welcome back to Horton's Flower Farm. If you're joining me for the first time, my name is Claudette. I own and operate a UPIC flower farm in Zone 7B, Long Island, New York. Today I'm at my house. Um, I live an hour from my farm, so I do a lot of my planting that's not direct seeding here at my house. So today I'm going to be talking to you about dahlias. Now specifically dahlias grown from seed. Now a lot of people don't know that dahlias can actually be grown from seed, so this is why I want to make this video. So let's talk a little bit about dahlias. If you're not familiar with dahlias, dahlias come in tubers. And a lot of people buy them in tubers um, because they're from a more established plant that the mother plant created these larger tubers. And when you plant the tubers in, you grow a nice, beautiful dahlia. When you grow from tubers, you know exactly what color the plant is gonna be, the variety that is, and exactly what you're getting. The difference with seeds is you don't know what you're gonna be getting. So a seed typically produces single bloom dahlias. When you see dahlias, dahlias are these varieties with like multiple layers of blooms inside. A seed dahlia is gonna produce more of a single, um, they call it a single bloom. So it doesn't have all of the insides to it, um, but sometimes it does bloom a double. And what happens is when growers grow from seed and they like a variety that that seed produces, they'll keep tubers from the new plant. So do dahlia seeded plants grow tubers? It's actually very interesting. When I grew last year for the first time from seed, it was only four weeks into the plant being a small little plant. And when I transplanted it to a bigger um, cell pack, it had already grown tubers. So yes, seeded dahlias do grow tubers and you can save them for the next years. So I wanna show you today how you can grow dahlias from seed. And it's actually super simple. I think it's the easiest seed flower to grow from seed and it's, they grow so healthy. I had 100% germination last year and you're gonna be surprised where I got my seeds from. All right guys, so where did I order my dahlia seeds from? I actually ordered them from Amazon. So actually, I don't know, some of the growers I was growing, um, ordered my seeds from, they didn't have dahlia, dahlia seeds, but Amazon did and I took a chance on it. I said, okay, $7 for 100, and that was a good deal. So I ordered ones that said dinner plate dahlias. Um, I figured they weren't gonna be dinner plate dahlias just because I knew that most of the seeds don't grow dinner plate dahlias and they did not turn out to be dinner plate dahlias, but they were dahlias. They were pretty and they were grown from seed and it was super simple. So you can get them from Amazon. I had, like I said, 100% germination rate. So if you wanna try it, you're gonna get all new varieties that no one's seen before because that's how it works with seeds. So it's not like um, zinnia seeds where the colors are gonna be, you know, the colors that you know about. With dahlia seeds, you're creating a whole new plant. It's almost like creating a human um, with a seed because dahlia seeds look completely different to seeds. You just don't know what they're gonna be because they're mixed together into a new variety. So it's actually really fun to plant them out not knowing what you're gonna get and see if there's something really cool there and you wanna save it for next year. So right now I'm gonna show you how easy it is. I'm gonna show you what the seeds look like and I am gonna grow them in, um, actually with the dahlias, I don't grow in a 200 cell pack. I know I say with the cosmos and the zinnias I do, but the dahlias, because they grow tubers so early and quickly, I do grow them in the bigger cell packs. So let me go grab one right now. All right guys, so I have my bigger cell pack. Um, I would even go bigger than this, but this is all I had outside right now. I'm gonna move my beautiful um, lilacs. I meant to show you guys these. Look at them, they smell absolutely amazing. So I just want to show you, and look at how cool this is. I got this picture. <laughs> I know we're off topic, but I got this picture from an, you know, a vintage store for, it came with a little pitcher bowl and everything for $15. And look at how pretty to put the flowers in. I love the vintage stuff. So that's my little side note for you guys because it's so pretty. Okay, so back to the dahlias. Okay, so basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna fill the cell pack with soil. Okay, so I'm just gonna fill just two of them with soil just so I can show you how I'm doing this. So I'm gonna push them down. You wanna plant them about a quarter of an inch deep. 
And guys, this is so simple. You should try this. Because what I did last year was I grew probably a hundred of them and I didn't even have room for them. So I ended up just giving them around to neighbors and friends and they were so excited to just see the dahlias and the different varieties and they grew so tall. So just grow them and give them away. For $7, try this out. So look, I just put the two seeds in like that and let's see if the camera can focus on the seeds there. You see the seeds right there? They kind of actually look like zinnia seeds a little bit. Um, so they're kind of big like that. I'm gonna put one more in this cell pack and put them back. And actually these seeds were seeds that I had from last year and I still had left over. So um, what's the deal with seeds that are from last year? People say don't use old seeds. So the thing with old seeds is sometimes they don't germinate as well. Um, I just planted mine right now from last season and are, they are coming up. So you might get like a 30% drop off because they're older. So if you want to plant two and pinch them back, that's fine. But it doesn't mean old seeds. Now these are old seeds only from a year ago. So they'll still have a pretty good germination rate. Maybe old seeds from like five years ago would have a very low germination rate. But if they're from last year, I wouldn't throw them away. I would try them out, see what happens. Um, okay, so listen, that is it. I planted these in. I'm going to put them under my grow lights. Um, probably for four weeks, they'll be ready to be planted out. And then you plant them outside. You space them about 18 inches apart. You probably will, when they start growing, stake them because they do tend to get a little bit heavy and you want to make sure they're supported. But grow from seed, guys. I want to see what you guys produce this year. See if you have a cool variety. Maybe Florette would even want to buy your variety. But um, And Florette actually does does sell the seeds. I think this is her first year. Maybe not. Maybe she sold it last year. But she's selling her seeds as well. But again, her seeds are basically like the Amazon seeds. You're not going to know what the varieties are. So they're kind of just a gamble to see what happens. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video on how to grow dahlias from seeds. I hope you learned a little something and I hope you enjoy the growing season. I'll see you guys soon.